it in. Welcome back to the last installment of Do Not Take This Cat Home. I do believe and I do know this is going to be the last, the last adventure we have with this cat. So, spoiler alert, stop here and go check out the previous parts that are going to be down in the description for the playlist. So, check them out so you know what's going on, so you caught up with the show. Um, We have four more endings to go and I do believe... I do believe that those four endings are the question marks we have with the, you know, when we get the chance to not take the cat home. So, let's get into it. Let's get into it for the last time. For the last time. Is everybody excited? Are you excited? I hope you're excited, because I'm excited. You've been enjoying yourself, haven't you? Yes. I as well. Still. All good things must come to an end. And I believe you are ready. Hi, kitty. Hi. Do not take the cat home. Sadly, as cute as the cat is, you'd never take this thing home with you. You just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. You are, with rent and bills to pay for, not to mention you need to buy food to survive too. There's no way you could take care of a cat long term, right? You can barely afford this little outing on your day off. Hmm. Hi kitty. What to do? You are ready. Only one thing left. So... What should you do with a cat that has been very, very, very naughty? Beginner's hint? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I need another hint. It... something it deserves. Something final. I'm gonna need another hint. Something it has been doing to you this entire time. Over and over and over again. Still not following. Huh? The act of taking a life? One more hint. Oh, you can't say that. Huh? No. No! Change your mind. No. Begin restoration. What's the restoration? Oh, like... Uh huh? Hint? I don't know, no, do not know what the restoration is. Okay. Oh! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. This is not how I thought it was gonna end. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fading out of existence. I No. I'm not sure. Really? Are you sure? No. Maybe not. Okay, I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure. I'm sorry, kitty. Once you do this, you won't be able to turn back. Let's save. Damn. I am at a crossroads. There's three more endings to go. So is this the actual ending? Or is there something else? You know? I'm gonna go check. Cause I don't wanna- I don't wanna jinx- like, you know? Jinx anything. So, I'm gonna go check around. I'll be back. Just give me a- a, a moment. So there was nothing. Um... I guess- I- I- I don't wanna do it. But there's nothing else to do. So, um... I'm really sorry, cat. 
I'm really sorry. You're super cute and I don't want to do it. Oh no, don't turn your head like that. I can't. Please. Last chance. Are you really, really sure about this? This is the point of no return. Are you sure there's nothing else you wish to do? There's nothing else for me to do. We've done everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, kitty. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's gonna crap out of me. Jesus Christ. You killed the cat. No! Kitty! Its corpse lays limp and lifeless and it's now bloodstained cardboard box. What would you like to do? Check pockets. My own pockets? Fine, check pockets. What else could you do with the pockets? There's no point. The cat is dead. You dig in your pockets anyway. Left pocket. String. No way. Useless. Right pocket. Chocolate! The cat is already dead! You eat the chocolate? You have your phone. No, don't take a picture! No point! What's wrong with you, you s maniac? The cat is dead. What would you like to do? Look around the area. What are you looking for? The cat is dead. You look anyway. You look to your left and right. Nothing but trash. You look up. The sun never reaches in here well enough. But you can tell it's a beautiful day today. You look behind you. Nobody saw. You look down in front of you. Oh, the kitty. Oh, yeah. The cat is dead. What would you like to do? I would like to leave. <laughs> You're done here. You turn around and leave the alley. Huh? At least, you try to. As you stand at the edge of the alley's entrance, you see that nothing exists beyond it. Just an empty black void. You turn back. I see nothing. And see that the back of the alley has be become shrouded in darkness. You can't see a thing. Yeah, I wanna approach the darkness, that's what we're gonna do. With no other options, you step towards the darkness. Closer. And closer. And cl Ah! You're not dead! I knew it! Jesus Christ. Blood all over me again. Your bleep. There I go. Ow. Ow. Okay, you've had enough! You've gotten your share! Well, that I bleed out. Well, we're b both dead now, so. What can you do? Oh, thank you. I fell down. You collapsed your knees. The front of your body is slashed open, leaking blood and guts and organs down your toser, tor 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 torso and over your lap. Don't. You. No. That cats have nine lives? Wait! There I go. There I go. So we have to do this nine more times? Oh, imagine. Imagine that's like a secret ending. You do it nine times. Mm, that'd be cool. Ending 36. Eight more hits. You do not take it home. You look angry. I'm sorry. That was not my plan. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I never believed in unconditional love. Not even as young as I was on the day that changed my life forever. Still, I always assumed they would come the closest to granting it to me. It's what they always say, right? That a parent's love is unconditional. 
The wounds they'd inflicted on my skin and in my heart had long since scarred over the day that dealt the final blow. And all it took were two little words. Get out. Get out. The day they finally turned their backs on me. Abandoned me. The, that was the day it found me. It offered me an unfathomable kind of love. A love that could be limitless, endless, powerful, all-consuming. A love unmatched. A love unlike anything that could exist in this world. But there was one thing that the love it offered me could never be. Unconditional. Damn, that got deep. That got a little deep for a second there. Jesus. Hmm? Where? Where, where am I? And so, you find yourself here, yet again. What? Who said that? And where is here? I, c I can't see anything. Why, here is here, silly. Your, your, well? Do you remember me this time? I never would have thought of myself as being forgettable. But I suppose there's a first time for everything. Your memory slowly pieces together fragments of a moment. An encounter. A cat in... In an alley. Uh, I, I... I took you home with me. Didn't I? Correct. You were daydreaming so long, you even had me worried. Can you imagine that? Here I am indulging in a, l a little in playing with my prey. Only you, for you to completely zone out on me. The game's no fun if you're not present, you know? I... No, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on at all. Hmm. Curious as you are, I should have expected that you have questions. Well... I suppose you've put me in a good enough mood to be generous and hear you out. Very well. What would you like to know? What do you mean I was daydreaming? Hmm. It's the first thing that came to mind, really. You were on the brink of death, but instead of watching your life flash before your eyes, you got stuck reliving the moment we met. Subconsciously coming up with scenarios and scenarios in which you managed to survive well maybe you would have but i couldn't resist messing with your imagination a little bit you did just start ignoring me out of nowhere after all you know you know by now how much i love attention your little thought experience were <laughs> rather amusing but if i must might say you must have had a pretty dull life to forgo indulging in precious memories of bygone days. In favor of daydreaming about a single encounter. Over and over and over again. I've heard of having regrets on one's deathbed, but this has been ridiculous. Ridiculously intriguing, that is. Or perhaps rather than regrets, I was what you found intriguing. Am I still daydreaming? You're lucid, I'd say, since you finally remembered me and all. Seems you're finally ready to end this farce, amusing as it has been. What would you like to know? <laughs> where, where are we right now? Inside your head, silly. The real versions of ourselves are halted in time back in our your rea reality. Sorry. Though I doubt much time has actually passed. These things tend to happen in the blink of an eye, after all. Well, usually anyway. What would you like to know? Wh why do you keep killing me? Oh, don't be so dramatic. I don't keep killing you. 
I haven't even killed you once yet. Those are just thoughts and ideas floating around in your head that I admittedly had a little fun with. Can you blame me? I would have gotten bored just by waiting for you to wake up. You even made me kill you in the end. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I was curious to see if you actually would. You certainly didn't hold back. You must have been quite angry with me. It's fine though. You know what they say about curiosity, yes? It was my own choice. And besides, I got you back. Didn't I? Uh, you're a cat. How are you talking? What do you mean? I've been talking to you all along. Intriguing as your imagination is, it would have run wild without my help. I was guiding you the whole time. Didn't you hear me in your thoughts? Like this? But you're a cat. How, how are you doing this? I'm quite powerful, yes, but also not so much. What does that mean? Besides, what makes you sure I'm a cat? My appearance? <laughs> I doubt I resemble any cat you've ever seen before, right? <laughs> what the hell are you if you're not a cat? I didn't say I wasn't a cat, did I? Oh yeah, that's not a cat. That's... I could be a demon. Or, an, or a god. Or an alien from another galaxy. Or an interdimensional abomination. Or I could just be a cat. It doesn't really matter what I am, does it? Certainly what I can do would be a more pressing matter, yes? A real cat wouldn't have, couldn't have done all of this. You're really hung up on appearances, aren't you? You have some kind of proof that cats don't possess powers like mine? I doubt it. And you know, it's pretty, pretty rude of you to keep going on and on about what I am. Before you even asked who I am or what my name is. <sighs> okay, then what's your name? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you now. Learn some manners first and then we'll see. Well, maybe in your next life, anyway. What, what do you want? Hmm. Well, if we're talking about my original goals, those are a bit personal, I'd say. And anyway, things have changed. Right now? Well, presently, I'd like to have some more fun with you. Your company has been very entertaining thus far. Given more time and under different circumstances, perhaps we could have even been... Well, all good things come to an end. You can't truly want to spend what little time you have left in regret and delusion, right? Alternatively, I'm also quite hungry after waiting so long for you to wake up. At this point, I could go either way. Have I satisfied your curiosity now? I just have one more question. Why me? Why call out to me, of all people? All I did was call out for someone to hear me. I called out and you were the first person who came to me. Simple as that. Were you hoping for some special reason? I'm afraid I don't have one. Everything I've come to like about you were things discovered after our initial encounter. So there's no big reason for any of this. The reason is far less interesting than the results that came about from our interaction. I only call to satiate. I only call to satiate my hunger, but in doing so, I found something far more valuable. I know for a fact that, regardless how this plays out, I will never forget you. What do you mean? I've taken a liking to you, human. And so I'll grant you another chance. 
another choice. This place is... You remember this place. Being chased. Being hunted. Being afraid. So afraid. That fear that's so attracted me to you. That instinctive desperation to survive. I craved it all, as I am the origin of those delectable emotions. You are already mine, but I will still permit you the chance to accept the reality of your fate. Human, I'll rather join it, because why not? Let's see. Hi, kitty cat. How are you? Splendid! Come forward, my human. You step forward and pick up the cat. You cradle it in your arms, reaching up to scratch his head. Suddenly, what? you start to feel sleepy. But the sudden wave of fatigue doesn't cause you to sway on your feet or stumble at all. What's, what's ha ha happening? So don't worry, you no longer need to worry about anything anymore. Just sleep and dream those sweet, sweet dreams for me. Excellent. With this, you will soon become a part of me. Ending 37. Forever. I'd rather die. Or I'll join you. No, I'd rather die. I'd rather cut it, like, cut it clean. I see. And then there's nothing left to say. Resign to your fate. You finally turn around. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! It's enormous, shapeless, billowing like thick smoke in the wind. The shadow-like entity towers above you. So high, it looks like the sky poured it down to earth. It's still pouring it, even... It is unfathomable, that's a hard word, that your tiny world is even able to stand under the weight of the reality of such a being's existence. And that you and your fragile mind haven't fallen to ruin as well. I'm getting sucked in. You step forward into the monstrous miasma. And offer yourself to it. I am become cat. I am become cat. Darkness. Surrounded by pure and absolute darkness. You are very suddenly hit with the feeling... Like I'm being watched? Oh! That you are not alone. Like you've just stepped into an unbearably, impossibly crowded space. Your ears even start to ring with the sensation of countless conversations, words, whispers, screams, all overlapping. But... You don't actually see or hear anyone or anything. You're alone. Even as your senses lie to you, trying to make you think otherwise, you're more alone now than, now than you've ever been. Lies. Lies? Lies. Listen. Listen, please. Is someone really... I can't, I can't see you. Where, where are you? Nothing. Nothing left. To see. Only hear. Hear us. Listen. Please. Are you- are you all trapped too? In this place? No place. Us. All you see, hear, feel, is us. 
us and it. Can't do so many voices. All the voices are the same, so. We are victims. Pray. Like you. We are many. Beyond counting. Our body's gone. With time. Wills left behind. Us. Us. We became. What you see. This place. Is us. Need you. Need your help. Help. But, but what, what can I do? It. Too greedy. Make. Mistake. Ate too many. We are many. Now strong. We are strong. Made it. Strong. But make mistake, mistake, error, law, weakness, then what not escape yourselves? Too long here, too long, one, we are one with it. Bodies lost, minds, wills, us. All corrupted, nobody can't escape. You too, you, we, it, one, all of us, all now, one. But you, new, fresh, body, still have body escape is possible because still one with it even just you if escape with mind with body it would unravel Lose power, lose strength, lose us. Us set free forever. Finally, escape. Help. H how do I do that? Remember, it lies. Hidden in truth, lies, lies. Escape. Push forward. It lies. Persist. 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 You ignore their words. Deep down you know there's no way someone like you could win against someone like it. The cat. You don't- you just called me useless. That's one word I saw and I did not appreciate it. Take it back. Take it back. A pointless effort. The hopes of those words. Their wills. It would all be wasted on you. Hey, the cat is still speaking to me. I don't like it. This is the cat. This is not me. So, you accept your fate and choose to perish. Hey, I did not want to accept that, but the cat was talking to me. You're not sure how long it takes, but their pathetic pleas eventually grow silent. You almost wish they would have simply turned to insults and threats. To send this silence, it bears the weight of your guilt and shame, long after your body fades away and becomes one. One. With me. Ending question mark, question mark, question mark. Fair enough. Thought. Thought. No. No, no. This is another daydream, isn't it? You're lucid. Oh, hold on. You're lucid again? In here? But how did you. Well, when you've been dreaming about the same day over and over, you kind of start to notice the patterns. 
Listen, I'm nothing special. I don't have really have any friends. I don't like crowds or going out most of the time. And more often than not, I'm alone, even in my home. One bedroom, one bathroom, and one me living alone in it. It'd be easy to say that I don't have much to lose. My life is admittedly pretty boring. But it is my life. And if this is my dream, then you're not calling the shots anymore. I don't think you understand what's going on here. No, no. You're not the one who's not getting it. You called me. You're the one that needs me. Whether it's to eat me or kill me or make me yours forever, it doesn't matter. I'm done here. I'm going home. You forget yourself, human. You, you ungrateful little creature. I give you my patience, my attention, my love. And you think you can't just leave? I didn't have to, you know. I could have just eaten you whenever I liked. But instead, I gave you time to understand. Time to accept what was happening. I gave you a choice. You, an unremarkable little nothing of an existence whom no one would even notice was missing. If I had just taken you as I pleased. Dreaming away about endless possibilities. Never having to worry about permanent consequences ever again. About choosing wrong. A little world all your own inside your head. I offered it all to you. I gave it the choice to join me and have it all. And you refused. You said you'd rather die, didn't you? And yet here you are, trying to go back on your choices. Only to continue to reject me. To reject my love. So foolish. So ungrateful. Just like the others, you don't even know what you want. Another bundle of contradictions. You wish for solitude, yet you fear being left alone. You fear being forgotten, undesired, unloved. Yet even though I love you and desire you, even though I promise to never forget you, even though I am the only one willing to never leave you, you still reject me, you stupid little child. I'm done waiting. You do not get a second chance. You made your choice, and you will accept the consequences of that choice. You're going to stay here with the rest of these ingrates. Forever. Haven't you ever heard of changing your mind? Such a thing doesn't erase your original decision. It has been permanently etched into reality. You think yourself so important that you are above facing the truth of that reality? No, but that doesn't mean I can't do my best to make things right. I'm still here, aren't I? That means I can always make more choices, better choices. You gave yourself to me. You are already a part of me. This might be a pathetic little delusion, but don't forget I'm the only one in control here, human. Oh yeah, that's right. Those twisted choices in my dreams were all you, weren't they? We help, we help, help. Running and dream that exe. What? Persist. What are you doing here, useless traitors? Stop! I think it's about time I started making my own choices. Persist. Stop! The cat growled at me while saying stop. I'm I'm back in the alley. So here. Good. I think I think I need to get home. I, uh, I step forward, 
out of the alley. This is gonna get. This is gonna take some getting used to. I I I step forward towards the entrance of the thankfully empty alley. I'm almost out of this place. Almost home and suddenly. Oh god, the cat is back. She is always on my eye. You. You're not going anywhere. Go left. Always go left. Oh, no, that's where I get scratched. Never mind. Don't give in to it. Persist. I need to dodge away from it. How do I know which way it's coming from? Go right. Nope. I'm not right. Oh, go back. Right, go back. Go right. Go home. Oh, no. Damn it. I overrode my choice. Where the hell do I go? Go to the dog park. And you were but here. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, not go back. I don't know which way it's coming from, so I'm just guessing. I'm I'm just guessing. Do you even like get to know where it's coming from? Go to the dog park. Go back. Go back. Go right? Nope. There's no indication of where I should go, so I'm... If there is, I'm blind. Oh, wait. If I, if there is, I'm blind. So I don't see, and I'm blind. Go left. Go back. Damn it! Is there any indication of where it's coming from? Is it a cat? Oh, there is an indication. Fair enough. I'm an idiot. That's what I am, an idiot. Go right. Damn. Gotta escape. Got you now. Go right. Go left. Go back. <laughs> Get back here. Yes, fuck you, cat. I'm gonna go watch a movie. Go to the old theater, because that's always a good choice. Go left. Go right. Pump music. Go left. Go right. Oh, hi. Crap. A dead end. Stop running. Go right. Go left. Go back. Get back here. Let's go watch a movie. Let's go to the new cinema. Go right. Pump music. It's getting me pumped to escape from a deadly cat. Go left. Go right. Dead end. Where do I go? Found you. Go back. I'm fully aware the cat does not sound like that, but you know, it's angry. I'm not. I'm portraying the little kitty. Get back here. Go. I've got to escape. Go to the corner. Go right. Go right. Go left. Go back. How do I get out? No escape. Go right. Yeah. Go back. Go left. Get back here. Oh, I'm out. Did I... Did I do it? Thread unraveling. Many us escape. Many free now. It losing us. Losing strength. Your escape. 
possible now. No! You are mine. We go ahead. We go free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. All of you. I, I won't forget you. They were right. My choice is back. No! Go right. Go home. Go right, go home, go left. Go right, go home, go left. Come back! Go back. Go right. Come back! Go left and go home. Please! Go right. Ah! Right. Okay. Oh, you're fine. You were good. You're good. Stop it. I took too long. I didn't see it fast enough. You have the strength to escape. At the end of this chaos, you will be okay. We are with you. Persist. I just messed up. I got it. I just didn't see it. Uh. Go home. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Go right. Go left. Go back. Go left. Go right. Go left. Go right. What do you see? Don't leave me. I'll die without you. I'll die with you. I'll die. I'll die. Push forward. Wait. Wait. Oh. I'm back. Back where it all began. The alley. And then the cardboard box. At the back of the alley. Oh. There you are. You look nothing like the impossibly cute cat I met. Well, what feels like a lifetime ago, after escaping and releasing the wills of all your victims, all that's left of you now is an inky black blog. Blog? Blob. Sitting up at me. The endless hatred pouring out of your singular eye. Doesn't scare me at all. Don't leave. You're mine. No. I'm not. You took them away. They were mine. And if they're gone, you took them away. You took everything from me. They weren't yours either. Alone. You never had to be. If you were lonely, you could have just been their friend. But you didn't want friendship. They left because you tricked them. Kidnapped them. Hurt them. You stole their lives, their time, never to get any of it back. You brought this on yourself. You are perfect. I'm not. You are. Don't need the others. Just need you. Stay with me. I won't. Can give you anything. Can be everything for you. No. You, you can't. You couldn't even before. You definitely can't now. And even if you could give me everything I ever wanted and more. 
I'd still never stay. I love you. No, you. I do. So much. I love you. I love you, 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 I love you. Stop. Maybe you do love me in some strange, screwed up way I'll never understand. But even if that's the case, it's not enough. Please, don't go. I'll be good. I don't believe you. I promise. I can't trust you. I promise. Just don't leave. Don't leave me alone. Please. I'll die. I'll die without you. Sorry, kitty. Or whatever you are. I'm not taking you home with me. You're angry and I don't appreciate it. I hate you. Now that I can believe. There's nothing left to say. You are gone. Bye bye, crazy cat blob. I watch in silence as the cat, as it, fades away into nothing. Oh, the sun. Goodbye. With one last glance around the alley, I turn. And leave. Ending 38. Do not take this cat home. I think I didn't get them in, in, a, in, in a row. Mm, yikes. It's fine. Today's been surprising. Yeah. Pleasantly so. A day off that started with admittedly crummy weather led me to the old theater. But I enjoyed the movie by myself. My laughter filled up the empty theater. The rain had stopped by the time the movie was over. And I was such, a, such in a good mood. I hopped over to the not so new cinema, not to watch another movie, but to play around in the arcade, earning a few high scores. With the gamer in me awakened, I went to the carnival to play some more and was humbled fairly quickly. But I did manage to win a small stuffed animal at the ring toss booth. The design is... Questionable. And I freaking love it. The rides weren't so bad either. I got in inducted into a group for a bit while waiting in line at the ferris wheel. Bonding over our shared mistrust of the carnival's game vendors. I even shared a carriage on the ferris wheel with a few of them. And exchanged numbers before we parted ways. I don't know if I'll ever see them again, or if any of them will ever call me, or if I even have it in me to call any of them, but having the option to do so is nice. It feels nice. Baby steps. After all, even that tiny bit of interaction, though fun, exhausted me. So I went to recharge at the dog park, feeling rejuvenated at the sight of dogs. Old, young, big and small, all running around. Happy and carefree. A few of the owners even let me take pictures. Yeah, today was a good day. I don't think about the cat or it, I guess, all that much these days. It was hard at first, in the immediate days and weeks that followed. What happened to me was all I could think about. There were days I blamed myself, days I questioned my choices. I went back to the alley more times than I want to admit. The feeling that always went through me at the sight of that empty cardboard box was so indescribable, so overwhelming. I'd sometimes break down and cry right where I stood. It took a while, but eventually that strange emotion became clearer and clearer, until I had the courage to recognize it for what it was. Relief. I'd been afraid to feel it for so long, terrified to let my guard down, but that sense of relief finally returned. Relief that it was gone, 
believed that I was free to live my life, however simply or extraordinarily I wished. The ones it had imprisoned? I never heard their voices again either. But that's for the best. Living here and now, never forgetting what they did for me, and what I did for them too. For now, I think that's enough. At least I hope so. And that wherever they are, they're finally at peace. I'm fighting for my own peace too. One day at a time. One tomorrow after another. That was cute. Aw. That was cute. I am happy that we got away from the cat. Or whatever it was, to be honest. So, one bedroom, one bathroom. Finally, I head home to my little apartment. One bedroom, one bathroom, and one me living alone in it. Well, almost, anyway. I'm home, baby! <coughs> oh, I got a kitty! Oh, I got a kitty. A little kitten flails as it awkwardly learns over to me and kneels up at me. I kneel down, looking fondly at its hazel green eye. The poor thing had been hurt and starving when I found it a few weeks ago. But it certainly got its energy back after a little food and care. Did you miss me? <coughs> Hungry, huh? <laughs> me too. It's It's been a long day. I smile helplessly at its cute little face. Let's find something to eat, okay? Oh, you got a kitty! Oh, that's an actual cat, and it's cute. Well, I guess there is one more thing living in my home. And, at least for now, I wouldn't have it any other way. Ending in a another day. Oh, that was super cute. Oh, I loved it. I loved the ending. Oh, it was so good. I don't know what to say. When I got into the game, you remember all that, those, what was it, three weeks ago? I didn't know what I expected. I definitely did not expect such a long, long game. It was, it's, the game is free if you want to play it. There's a link in the description, you can play it. It's, again, it's free. It's a long game. It's so, like, intricate. Didn't pronounce that correctly, but whatever. Oh, and thank you for making it. It was so good. Like, you don't... Getting into it, I didn't know what I expected. Like, I expected maybe, like, a 30, 45 minute game with a cat and its things. But when I got into it... 40 endings and if you've been here from the beginning you know how long those 40 endings took because even if like some endings were short and then like this one or a couple of you know the ones where you take the cat home with you and you what well, and you feed it and you play with it you clean those are like long endings oh it's gone the kid is gone and like oh i'm gonna put the music in so you can hear it no i won't there's a bird Fine. Like, it was long. And. Oh, God. What's this? No! Hello, kitty? Oh, you can. Well, no, I'm going back. Shut up. No. Oh, so I messed up. We didn't get two endings. Um. There's this one, well, we didn't get one ending, which is this one, which is where I leave. And that's gonna bother me. Oh, that's gonna bother me. And I think that's gonna bother you. So I might just play through it again on my own. And... <sighs> Damn, that's gonna, that's gonna bother me. Like, so much. Can I... Oh no, I can. Well, I'll play it. You'll probably see it before this, so I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna be back. Uh, you've probably seen this, so it's not gonna be a pause for you, but it's gonna be just bear with me. I'm dumb, so. Mm. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so where was I? What was I saying? I was saying how good the game is. I really liked it. Um. You should play it for yourself if you haven't yet. You should. Play it. Enjoy it. Experience it. It's... I don't have any complaints about it. Like, I usually don't have complaints about games when I play. Even though I should, but I'm just enjoying them as they are. I literally do not have a single complaint about this game. It's, in a way... It pulls you in, right? Because when I started, I didn't think I was going to finish all of this. But... You're gonna ask this thing where you see the oh my god there's 40 endings i want to get all of them but then you see like some of them are like you have to go through them and it's still so entertaining the the storyline and the the executions of the all the the dog park the theater uh you know the cinema thing you get stalked and the cat calls you on your phone and everything it's it's so good it has this feel of a game that's if i could I, I, if i could have i would have played it again for the first time so you know play it that's all i'm gonna say play it it's good you like it if you if you saw this just now just today the first time don't watch the previous parts what well, you do but go play it as well so you know um yeah that's it that's that's it for do not take this cat home it's been an adventure and a half and i have loved every single second of it i hope you loved it as well and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below just check out the previous parts of the game if you haven't yet they're amazing and remember to press the bell notification so you get notified when i put another cat video out because i have a couple of in line so if you like cats you know, there's gonna be more. Or, you know, if you don't like cats, there are other videos too that are gonna be uploaded at the same time. There's something for everybody. But yeah, without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I will see you all later. Bye!